Welcome! Let's install Unreal 5 on Linux. Step 1. Go to GitHub, create an account and log in, if you don't already have one. Step 2. Go to our Epic Store, create an account and log in, if you don't already have one. Now go to your profile name and choose Account. Down the side, click Connections and link your GitHub to your Epic account. This will grant you access to the Unreal source code. Now, go to the Epic Games GitHub page and you should see that you now have access to the Unreal Engine private repo. So, open up this repo and you should see that you have access to the branch of 5.0, which is here. Now, it's up to you whether you want to clone it or download it. I just downloaded the zip, but get the code. Once you've got it, extract it, slash go into the folder, and let's begin. Now open a terminal and we will run the first command of sudo dot slash setup.sh. We have to run it in sudo, otherwise it fails when trying to do some of the install. Now it's time to run the second command. So again, in sudo, run dot slash generate project files dot sh. It shouldn't take very long. So now it's time to run the longest command, sudo make. This will compile all the source code so you can run Unreal. On my computer, this took over four hours and it ended up failing, but you can just rerun the command after a reboot and it will continue from where it left off. Off. Now that Unreal is compiled, it's time to grant permissions. Type sudo chmod 700-r and then just change the entire folder to grant the owner full permissions. Now with permissions granted, let's change the owner. Type chown your username dash r and then again just change the entire folder. And that's it, now you can start the Unreal Editor. Simply CD into Engine, Binaries and Linux and start the Unreal Editor. It will take a while to compile the shaders on first load, but after that it will be relatively quick. And that's it ladies and gentlemen, you have successfully installed Unreal 5 on Linux. As you can see here, I have the dashboard, so I'm just going to quickly start a third person map. And you can see it's lagging a little bit, but that's just because it's compiling the shaders while I'm trying to run the game. But as you can see, it is successfully working fine. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up and I'll see you next time.